Where is the three? Whoa, you're way down here? So Maya was in the exact same spot last year? Yeah. Aw, I love it. So now you know how to find it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. You find your hook. I can't believe Maya was in the exact same spot. Yeah. Lucky number, Lucky number three. Was she number three too? Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's about 7.20. We have about 20 more minutes before we go take this beautiful young lady to school, to fourth grade. Right, Amara? Right. Um, I'm going to go to my new classroom and we're just starting school for fourth grade. And I'm so excited and I'm in my brand new outfit and my straight beautiful hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got some glitter in your hair from your nails. She was doing her nails all. Beautiful, you wanna show them your nails? They're like an orangey red color with silver sparkles. Yep, very nice, but she's a little nervous, right Amara? I'm a lot nervous. A lot nervous. Okay, so, sorry, in front of window, 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 ah! All right, so I am, after I drop off Amara, I'm gonna run to Target and get a few things that we need, and, um, and then I'm coming back and getting myself completely ready. I am not ready, ready. And uh, I have to take, and then I have to get Samaya all ready for her school day. But she's only going for like two hours, and it's with me. So um, it's her first year in middle school, so they do like this little introduction, <clears throat> half two hour day with parent. And, and that <clears throat> isn't fair because I want a half day at school no. too. So now, yeah, so Mara's like, it's not fair, I want a half day at school. We're half day people! <laughs> I'm the devil. Oh, goodness. So anyways, um, that's what we're doing. So it's kind of the first day of school, but not really the first day of school. For Mara it is, but Samaya not quite yet. All right, we got about 15 minutes before we're gonna leave, so I am just emptying the dishwasher, and then I'll load it up with um, those three dishes that I have over there and at least I'll have that done before I take them out of school I didn't eat at home this morning, so I went and grabbed myself This is just one of those you'll play yogurts with the granola on top and it's one of my favorite kind But we're at Target now, so we're gonna go in and go shopping after I eat this real quick I'm Ready to go shopping diesel This store over here. Yay. 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 Woo! I like started breaking a sweat in Target today. <laughs> Diesel was not cooperating, but I'll give him a pass because he's normally super good when we go into stores and stuff so he just what set him off is that i put those annie's like fruit snack things in the cart and he desperately wanted one and i was like no no you gotta wait you gotta wait you gotta wait of course i ended up opening one at the checkout just to like make him be okay while that during the checkout because they had one one lane open and it was like a huge line and of course by the time i put all my stuff up on the little you know the checkout thing then they have like three other people come to check out people but this was not the ideal time to come to target because they had every aisle was full of shopping carts because they're stocking the shelves or whatever so it was it was just chaotic but we're done i did not find the sanitizer bottles i need for the girls school i'm sure they have them but i looked and looked and looked and diesel was fussy and there was carts everywhere and um it's like forget it just forget it <laughs> that's all right though they can take it next week or whenever you know they do like the whole classroom thing where they all um, bring Kleenex hand sanitizers uh, just classroom things all the students bring in and then they just use it throughout the school year so um, we're gonna head home now it's only probably about 8 30 or so what time is it Oh, it's almost 9 actually, 8.55. So I'm going to head home, get myself ready, make sure Samai's up and about and getting ready for school for 
her and I to go to school, but dropping off Amara, I felt super bad dropping her off today because she was so sad and pitiful. She was just so upset. She was like, I hope I don't throw up because she was just really nervous. And the reason why is, I mean, it's the same school. <laughs> She's sitting right next to her best friend in her classroom, so I'm sure once she gets in there, she'll be fine. But um, she's used to having her big sister there. They're only a year apart, so ever since Amara's been in school, she's always had Samaya there for her, um, and that's what she was telling me that, you know, they could help each other out with stuff, um, but anyway, she'll do fine, I'm sure, so we'll see how, how her day went when she gets home. Miss Samaya's breakfast, bacon and toast, and she's chugging down a Gatorade. <laughs> and Miss Samaya's having toast and eggs this morning. Toast and eggs with eggs and um, toast with butter. Yeah, and she's not and so my, excited about going to school today. My but straight hair is kind of getting curly. It's starting to get a little, little wavy, yeah. but it's still pretty straight. Yeah. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so it's nine o'clock and I'm with Diesel and we're at the hospital um, just to go to speech therapy though for him. So we're gonna do his little speech therapy session. Drop the girls off obviously before this. After I dropped the girls off, I ran home and I unloaded and loaded the dishwasher so that was good. And then I just changed my clothes, nothing fabulous though. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and head on into speech therapy. All right, so speech therapy is done. It's usually like a 40 minute session, so he really just sits on the floor or at the table and plays with toys they have there. So she started off with a couple of baby dolls and he was feeding the baby dolls and she would say more for like more milk and like more milk and he would feed the baby dolls every time she asked him to. So that was really cute seeing him interact like that. And then um, she pulled out a truck with shapes. It was like a shape sorter, but it was a dump truck that made noise and everything. Well, he was trying to get the shapes out by reaching his hand into the shape. So there's a triangle cut out, and then the little pieces were inside the, the truck. So he put his hand in the triangle cut out. Well, guess what happened? His hand got stuck in there. <laughs> couldn't get it out she went and got lotion we lotioned up his hand and the truck and everything and it was it was you know one of those typical toddler kid moments um so whatever he was fine his hand was a little red and stuff but he was totally fine like after a couple minutes he cried a little bit but then he moved on and then she played um bubbles with him and also musical instruments and he loved the musical instruments and he really interacted with her a lot um but she's really working on the word more and then doing the hand symbol I have I can't show you because I'm holding the camera but doing the hand symbol for more and I was telling her last night I honestly I had a dream last night and this is what my dream was about is my son doing the the sign language thing for more. <laughs> That's what I dream about now. It's my big dream um, is for him just to ask for more with his hands. So um, we are going to head home now and do a little cleaning and see if JB's home. I'm not sure if he's already left or not or if he's home. If he's home and he wants to just hang out with Diesel, then I might go for a walk and get a workout in. The lake is looking so beautiful. We have a salad for lunch. And Diesel, I can tell, is already getting tired, so he'll probably go down for an early nap. It's about 11:40 right now. It's the small things, you guys. I finally hand wash these pans that have been sitting on my counter forever. So that is done, and I am. Got the comet down on my sink, and I'm gonna scrub the sink and get it clean, nice and shiny. All right, it's going on 1:30. Mr. Diesel back there. Boop, boop. <laughs> He's just eating a little snack. He's having some pretzel sticks, and then in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna take him upstairs for his nap time, which I'm surprised he actually held off this long. He didn't have a nap at all yesterday, so he was extra tired. So he stayed up though this whole time. And I have been just working on some laundry. So I have a few loads of laundry here that I've 
finished washing drying and then fold it up and then at night um, part of the girls nighttime routine is to pick up their room some and um, put away any laundry I do that day so I've been helping them and hopefully it'll just you know hopefully eventually they'll be able to just do it on their own so um, that is that so I will be putting away the stuff. JB will take up his own clothes. I won't have to worry about that, but I'll put away the towels and Diesel's clothes. And then tonight at bedtime, the girls will put away all their clothes. Yes, mister. And I'm going to get Diesel to bed. Hey, you guys. It's... Um, about 20 minutes until Amara will be coming out of school, but of course I am parked here. Not fishing in the carpool line because that line is already, all the spots are taken up. So I just kind of go to the side street, but I can see it's over there and I can see it. And then I can see when spots free up and then I can pull up. Um, JB picked up Amara yesterday because I was at school with Samaya at like orientation for middle school. And he said that parents would not pull forward and that gets so annoying. It's like, I don't understand what's so difficult in the carpool line. You pick up your kid, you leave your spot, the cars behind that spot should pull forward. So the line can keep moving. But for some reason at our school, it's the most difficult thing ever for parents to understand the fact that you should pull forward. Um, so anyways, yeah, you hear Mr. Diesel back there. He should be home taking a nap right now. JB is actually gonna stay home today while he took his nap so I can pick up Amara without waking him up since he didn't get a nap yesterday. But I laid him down for a nap and he refused to go to sleep. <laughs> I left him in his crib for like 30 minutes. He wasn't crying, but he was just up there like, you could hear him like banging on his crib and like, talking loud, like making his noises loudly and stuff. So, yes, yeah, so I went and got him and I've been driving around. I went to McDonald's and got myself a mocha and I was doing super good today eating wise, but this is gonna be like a cheat, this mocha. Um, thinking that maybe he would fall asleep in the car and he hasn't yet. He hasn't fallen asleep. He just doesn't want to go to sleep today or yesterday. Today at nap time, I was thinking, yes, a nap time. And then my older kids are in school. What could I do spending that two hours of peace and quiet? But that did not happen today. <laughs> so one thing I learned today. So today was the first like full day of school for both of my girls. And I thought I was super prepared with everything, but now it's like, you know what? You just cannot get anxiety or stress over the little things. Like I felt, I hate being late to things. So this morning everything was going well. And then of course we walked out the door and it was a little chilly. So Mar I mean, Samaya gets cold really easily. So I had to run back in the house, find a jacket and all that stuff, you know. I thought I was prepared for the morning, but obviously something popped up and that, that happens in life. And I just end up getting really like anxiety filled if I think I'm gonna be late. And it's not gonna be me that's gonna be late, it's gonna be the kids that are gonna be late to school. But um, I just get full of anxiety and I've got to learn just to let that little stuff just roll off. You know, why get stressed out? Who cares if they're late a few minutes on the first day of school? It's not a big deal. So, and then when I went to get Diesel out of his crib, I was walking up the stairs. Our dog, Pinky, comes walking by the front door. And I was like, okay, Pinky, just a second, I'll let you out. And what does she do? She pees right there all over my floor. And can she pee in one spot? No, she pees while she like walks. So it's like pee, walk, like, pee all over my whole entire entry entry floor so before I got diesel I went back down and cleaned up the dog pee everywhere so yeah but you know just let it roll off just you know let those moments just roll off deal with them and let the anxiety and stress of them just roll off <laughs> and don't get bothered by them so I just really want a great year with the girls at school this year um, they're already filled with anxiety the school transition this year has not gone as well as it has in the past normally they're just all excited they go to school and that's that but um, Samaya 
started middle school and her locker is just super difficult to get open um, and then you have the stress of having to go to different classrooms with different teachers and you have three minutes in between your class times to go to your locker which you can never get open <laughs> to get your stuff so yeah that was not good and she's really stressed out about that so I'm trying to be just super positive with her and then Amara was so sad because she's used to having her big sister with her at school and now she doesn't have big sister at her school with her um, next year she will when she goes to middle school but um, not this year so she's feeling lonely I think without her big sister there to look out for her and they kind of look out for each other so um, she was really emotional about that so yeah this school year has not gotten to a great start but I'm hoping after next week that they, everyone gets in their routines and everything goes really smoothly and well so but yeah you just can't let those small things ruin your day or you know upset you to the point where you ruin someone else's day because that's my problem when I get upset I'll ruin whoever's around me I'm like a tornado <laughs> if, if I get like upset about something I'll just like ruin whoever's whoever's near me their day like when the dog peed on the floor JB's uh, my husband his shoes were all over the front entryway and he has like six pairs laying out there and I'm like you got to figure out the system for these shoes now driving around I'm like you know what I'm gonna move my shoes to where I put the girls shoes and then he can have both of the little front entryway closets for his shoes because that will I think just help the situation and solve the problem <laughs> So, but now I feel bad because I shouldn't have even said anything. I was just upset with the dog pee. So, yeah, there's that. So, now I have to go apologize to him and give him a, a kiss or something. <laughs> so, um, hopefully the girl, hopefully Amara will be coming out soon. And then we got to zip over to middle school and pick up Samaya. And I'm sure their first day went fine. But I'm excited to hear about it. Um, is it on? Yeah, tell them what was the best thing that happened today at school. Um, the best thing that happened today at school is, is, um, is that we got to play a little game called, um, called, um, Will You Be My Ducky Wucky? <laughs> and here's how you play, um, somebody goes, it, we form a circle and then, um, and then um, somebody, a random person goes up in the mill and, and picks a random person and says, do you want to be my ducky wucky? And the other person has to say, no, I will not be your ducky wucky without laughing. <laughs> and, um, and if they laugh, do they, they get out? Yeah, and my friend said that, how can we make you laugh? Because I never laugh. <laughs> You're good at the game then, huh? Yeah. You didn't laugh at Ducky Wucky? No. <laughs> Cute. What, did anything bad happen today at school? No. Nothing bad? No. That's good, and you found your hook okay? Yeah. And your classroom okay? Yeah. And you sat next to your best friend in class? Yeah. My, actually, Ash, Ashley's gone. She was gone today? Yeah. Okay, but today was still okay, even if she was gone? Yes. Did you have fun on recess? Um. You ready for this? Is. <sighs> That's how your first day of middle school went? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. huh? Yeah. A little tough? Tired. Tired? Well, what's the hardest thing about middle school? You have to take everything everywhere. Yes. It's you don't have a desk with all your supplies, right? No. You always have to go back to your locker and get stuff you need. Mm. And then knowing what you need ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's hard. Oh, you'll get used to it, kiddo. Mm. You'll get used to it. Amara's going to eat one of these perfect nectarines, right? Yeah. They They're smell so, so good. Mm. <laughs> they smell like if you start like take a bite and juice like comes out. Yummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yummy nectarine. And I'm gonna wash it and I'm gonna take it. Ah. <laughs> You're delicious. And I'm tiger. just um these are frozen shrimp, so I'm just bring them under cold water and getting them ready so I can cook them in our dinner. 
because it's gonna be ready for shrimp. Watch my macaroni. <laughs> So I'm just cooking the shrimp real fast and I've got some rice back here that I'll just add to it and then I'm going to use this um, Archer Farms fajita sauce and see how that tastes with the shrimp and rice. Alright guys, it's going on 6 o'clock. It's not super late right now, but I'm hoping Diesel will go to bed a little bit earlier because I can tell he's super, super tired. Um, I'm actually going to have a salad because the girls ate all that rice and shrimp. Obviously, it was a big hit with them, and that was the easiest meal ever. So, thanks you guys so much for watching this back to school whole couple days. I think I'm gonna add in here. So, thanks for watching our back to school transition. It has not been an easy transition, but like I said earlier, hopefully, next week goes a little bit smoother, and hopefully, this little guy winding down by me takes naps next week. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.